a season, to start a game, whatever it is. Could they have scripted a better start in terms of playing? Offensive player of the week in the NFC, and his team won their season open. Absolutely perfect start to the year, but all 38 now. Here's second and three. They run it again with Cook. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the Bucs force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. In the season opening victory. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense because if you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course. Because you know me, I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They stay on the ground with White. Fighting his way through contact. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Under instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, Mayfield. And he throws it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Russell Gage, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Buccaneers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw to the deep. Here's Fields now on second down. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 43. Coming up, it's certainly not an easy one on third and long. Out of the gun, Fields. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. And the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. On the option left is Fields. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him. They keep it on the ground. White again. Room here to run. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. 17 yards on the play out of Buccaneer. If you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Kalijah Kansi. White running to the left. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And just shutting him off there. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 97 yards rushing for him now. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 16. They come up on a third and three. Here's Mayfield. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Bucs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So after the disappointment in the opening week loss, Charles, this looks like really a completely different football team. They sure do, and I think they realize we can't start 0-2. And they're determined to not let it happen. Being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurt. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Points up second and 10 at the 38-yard line. Herbert powering up the middle. 
And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Off play action, Fields. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jamel Dean. Holding often. Tackle for loss. We all know how he became one of the most famous players in football, though, don't we remember? Oh, that one play. Yeah, that one big time play. It was on highlights everywhere. They want to see more of that here in the NFL. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And a big 32 yard play on third. Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's another big play. These guys they work with the lead as they've got it first and 10. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're a little too close for comfort. And you're always looking for a play to get you going, right? You're looking for someone to make one. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable they need, but it's third down. Back to throw, Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down. Third down. They need to get to the 28 for a first. From the gun, here's Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Touchdown catches. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. They stay on the ground with White. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Is it really working? Right now, they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for broke. And Field's going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Back to throw. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And able to get this one across the From the gun on third down, Fields. He's got the connection to Moore. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down. Here's Fields. On the move to his left. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. Well, for 93% of the time, you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he's got some space here. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. That's your good for in your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, and, you and in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Chris Godwin, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Things are rocking easy here in the fourth quarter. They've got to feel pretty good about this one. Actually, they've got to feel excellent. Tough loss in the opener. No way they wanted to go 0-2. I don't want to read too much into it, but psychologically, is there something much bigger? But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe. On second down, here's Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 15-yard line. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stop. Throwing again is Fields. And that is caught. Well, they're going to 
to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something they going to fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there.